<laughs> wow, that was fast. Okay. Just a second. All right, now Ms. Paddock on, you can now return to my lap. All right. Maybe leave the shirts and the surge protector alone though, okay? I want to say, guy, this was this fits in with um, either the fourth game or the OVA in between, possibly both. This is just a regulation to boost. I would say that that's some a reasonable response. Um, worry, considering the timing of this. If you have no expectations, then they can never. <laughs> if you don't set your expectations high, you can't be disappointed. I guess. I'm kind of leaning towards it being, in this case, a bad thing, since it's affecting team chemistry. Revolution in everyone's hearts. Hopefully this doesn't involve climbing long staircases and sword fights. Yes. You're not playing like beat her up, are you?
I am not going to start a fight between team members that would destroy... Like, we need to restore trust, not destroy it. Or to put this another way, we get in, like firefights on a month, like big epic firefights with monsters on a monthly basis. We need to have each other's backs. Not quite the sentiment I had in mind, but you do you, Diana. Also, not quite something I was going for, but sure, you do you, Karen. What I'm trying to say is, it doesn't have to be like this. All we need to do is make sure we keep talking. <laughs> ah, so she has, a, yeah, she has a killer death glare. Subaru can gender identify however she wants to. That's not our problem. Wow. I really hope that this arc doesn't involve... Like, this could get really bad. No, not you too. I mean, yes, this is the 1920s. The, like, the widespread acceptance of gender fluid, and also, the, the game is set in the 1920s. The game was made and released in, like, 2000. So, widespread accept acceptance of the concept of gender fluidity as opposed to, yeah, gender fluidity was less of a thing. And... Like, we've made, like, in the past 20 years, amazing leaps and bounds in terms of acceptance of uh, transgender people. It's, there's still a really long way to go, but this is, this is definitely, like, the perfect example of early 2000s, late 90s, tone-deaf writing about trans, about trans characters. You know what? No, that's all I wanted either! You know what? We've gone 50%. I fucked that up. Like, I was not looking at the screen, actually. I was... Normally that so that that was a goof up on my part. Fuck. Sorry. I apologize. I apologize to my viewers. Normally, what that slider usually entails is the amount of passion or intensity you put in between an option. Um. And there, I was definitely going more for the. Like, I go for a lack of interest in the answer of that question. That's bad, too. And the save point's far enough back that I don't want, I don't want to just, like, quit out and redo this section over again, because 
I've already been playing for like half an hour. Um. Oh, I screwed that up. Okay. You know... Weird gear shift there. Okay. So Diana's kind of looks like the territory of he's okay with the L, the G, and the B, but she needs develop she, she needs to how to phrase this reassess her sentiments, not sentiments, but her mind her attitudes on the E Q parts of that statement. Okay. That, that's not... One, yes, she's not that dumb. Two, she's a friend. And a battle up, comrade. And she's doing the feet at right point. That is the best option, probably. Uh, she does need to apologize. You're not helping, Ratchet! You're not helping. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> I feel like the actual correct response to all of this is for like Ratchet to come up with like the big paper fan. Basically going like this is going to smack everyone in the like, don't slap everyone in the back of the head. And then just ask, hey, where'd you get that from? But, oh, um, Sunnyside had it in his office, don't know why. That's more than Subaru. That's fair. Alright, do the lobby. buy a photograph. Okay. Oh, that fits with her playing Ophelia. Did I get super already?
Alright. Alright, so... Ah! Gemini and Subaru are meditating. We're going to meditate. Alright. Raising! <laughs> okay, let's move to Gemini. Trying to get back on track. Alright, so. That's. 25 after. Talk to Gary about the photo theme. All right. So, actually, the thing is. Well, actually a couple places that would work for this. But maybe they just checking on the fact and the ideal place for photographs for this is Central Park. But the thing is the Hudson River Park would probably also work as well. I would deliver that later. Right, pause for a second so I can kind of figure what I'm doing. I 
good question. Let's see what, um, what about Subaru? And the answer is not much. Austin suplexed him. <laughs> ah. You want to know how he, how he dealt with that? You need to buy the OVA. after is Alright, let's do I do need to, to take some steps to build relationships with to fix things with Subaru because I take a, took a point penalty there. Please don't start a fight in the library. And then I'm not going to shoot because I'm not a dick. I'm a mature adult. <laughs> yeah, we got made. Like, <laughs> we've been made. All right. Gadget. <laughs> uh... Okay, so now actually I can go back. I need to build up my relationship points with the Gemini. So I actually need to go back to the theater for this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.